In today's video, I'm going to be going over all the travel gear and tech that I brought with me on my recent trip and what I used to film my past five vlogs. Now, I don't consider myself a travel vlogger at all. However, the opportunity presented itself. One thing that I really hate when it comes to traveling is bringing a whole bunch of stuff with me. I think that if you can cut down on some of the most unimportant things that you have in your luggage, then there's no reason why you can't travel like a minimalist. So that way you can enjoy your trip and enjoy your travel to the most of its ability. And with that intro out of the way, let's get started. At the time of making my vlogs, I didn't have the current camera that I do now, which is the Sony ZV-E10. That was actually on back order and I planned to use that during my trip. However, it didn't arrive in time. So I decided to use a GoPro Hero 10. Now, when I purchased my GoPro Hero 10, it did come in this awesome little case here, as you can see fully protected. Unfortunately, I didn't actually bring it and I'll get to that in a minute, but I did bring the things that were inside. As you can see, it's a lot of stuff in there. It does fit a lot. So if you are traveling with a backpack and you do want to bring something like this, you can fit all the essentials for your GoPro in there and it'll go right in just like that. And this is the one here, the GoPro Hero 10. Now I actually purchased this little mount on it and it does extend, which is great. I think this is one of the most essential tools that you should ever have when you are using this for vlogging. I mean, with the GoPro Hero 10, you can actually zoom out quite a bit with all the different sort of modes that it has. You've got wide, you've got linear, and there's a lot of stabilization depending on which one you're using. I definitely recommend this as part of your main kit. It's waterproof, so that's great. We know how great the GoPros are with waterproofing, but I wanted to take it a step further and actually add the mod kit to this in order to get good audio quality. Now with the mod kit, it does come with a lot of extra things that you wouldn't normally get with the GoPro itself. The main one being an upgraded mic. Now my advice is I personally didn't like the upgraded mic. It did sound a little bit crappier compared to the actual in built mic. So for a lot of my vlogs, I did actually use the inbuilt mic of the GoPro. The only disadvantage to using the built-in microphone is that it isn't directional. So it does pick up everything around it. Now with the mod kit, you can see here just on the back, there are three ports that you can actually apply here and that allows you to add extra accessories. Now, the coolest thing about this is that you've got that on the front, on the top, and the little mount on the side as well. So introducing my Rode Video Micro. Now, this bad boy is actually really, really good now. You can take this off. I personally didn't bring this myself because it was just too much to carry. So phew. that's why you'll notice in some of my vlogs that there is wind that gets picked up throughout some of the footage. However, this is such a good kit. I mean, look at this as disassembly. I can literally unplug this and take this off and that's it. I can fit that right into my backpack without any problem. This actually made the audio quality for a lot of my videos a lot better. So we're just gonna head over there now. We're gonna check into our hotel even though we're like an hour late. Definitely would use it um, over the inbuilt microphone if you can. The only downside to using this along with this is that unfortunately sometimes because of the connector that's in here, the USB-C connector inside the mount, sometimes it would slightly come out. See on the side of the GoPro, you do have this little flap here, which is responsible for where the batteries and things go, just like that. Now, what would tend to happen is that little port there on the bottom would actually disconnect a lot from the actual mount itself, which would cause my GoPro to freeze. It would cause my GoPro to have a lot of other issues. There were times where I would be recording and it would say that it's recording but it's actually frozen. So I couldn't actually get out of the menu. So the only way to fix that problem was I had to dismantle the whole thing. That's the only downside I found with this product. Everything else worked really well. One big benefit I think is that because it's an action cam, it allowed me to do so many cool things, capture so many moments that you wouldn't normally be able to capture with a DSLR or something like that. So these three, that's my gear. The second item that I brought, which also allowed me to capture some sick moments was this, my DJI Mini 2. Funny story about this, similar to my ZV-E10, this holiday that I booked was so last minute. So when I put the orders in for all of these products, I found out that the DJI Mini 3 came out and it wasn't gonna be ready until the day after I left. It does come with a dope remote. Now this remote, I remember when I used to have my DJ Mavic 2, I hated having to attach my phone to the controller like, this weird thing, but this comes with a little pop-up slot for your phone and it's so much easier to use than the previous controllers that I had where it had the little flip out side things and you had to mount the phone in and make sure the plug was working. I hated that controller. I know with the DJI Mini 3, it has an even better controller, which eventually I'll probably get into. Now I got the DJI Mini Fly More combo, so I definitely had more batteries to use. These batteries will probably only last you about 25 minutes or so on a solid use. 
um, especially if there's more wind or if you're shooting at a higher resolution and you're going further out. If you could see from some of my footage, I lived in the mountains at that time, so it was a lot harder for my drone to actually sustain itself. Um, taking it out over those landscapes where there was a lot of signal block would cause it to drain a little bit faster than I would like. But if you have the three batteries, it actually helps so much. I could get a solid hour of filming and it was just easy. I mean, no one's really gonna be shooting a whole hour straight, so, it gave me like five, 10 minute intervals to pull up my drone, shoot it out, and it was all good. Coolest part about this is this little bracket that I have. Now, when you get the fly more combo, it actually holds the drone in place. And for reference, for anyone who's interested and who hasn't seen these drones up close, let me show you. It fits in the palm of my hand. See that? How good is that? Look at this. It's my iPhone. See that? I was really happy with that purchase. The quality was still great. I mean, I would have loved to have some portrait videos so I could have actually, you know, put some stuff on TikTok or Instagram, but for what it does and for what I needed it for at the time, it did everything that I needed to. So it also does come with an awesome bag when you get the fly more combo. When I did go out, however, I would put some of the gear into my smaller sling, which I'll get to next. That's basically it for all the footage type stuff that I was filming with. That was what I used. Literally a GoPro Hero 10 and my drone. Now, where did I keep all of these items? Well, let me show you. This is the sling that I used. There are definitely pros and cons to it, but this, for this trip specifically, was perfect. This is perfect for a day trip, and that's what I really needed it for. It has an outside pocket and an inside pocket. And within that inside pocket, you've got two side pockets, as well as a zip pocket. The zips on these, I would say, are quite weather resistant. I don't know if they're meant to be fully weatherproof, but they definitely seal really nice, which is great for a country like the Philippines where at any moment it could start raining. And this definitely helped protect a lot of my gear when I was out. The coolest thing about this though, is that it also has an iPad holder. See? and it's magnetic, which fit perfectly for my next piece of gear, my iPad Pro. So I downloaded LumaFusion. If you haven't heard of it, it's similar to Final Cut. It edits very well, much better than iMovie. And that's essentially what I used when I edited all my videos. And that fit perfectly into my sling. So I was able to fit pretty much my GoPro, my drone, as well as the controller and the batteries just up in this little uh, Peak Design pocket, just here and it works perfectly. And that's it. So I just wanna thank you for checking out this video. Uh, if you like videos like this where I'm just talking to camera and you know I'm just going over topics or things that you guys wanna hear about, let me know in the comments below as well because I, I do enjoy talking to the camera. I know that sounds really sad. I, I do have friends though, so. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Thanks for checking out, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Product review.